Well, both of these schools embracing the togetherness of the Pac-12 and moving forward. Benny and Butch, a little secret handshake. <laughs> but once the first kickoff goes, friendships go by the wayside. This is going to be a fun one today. The offense of the Cougars, the defense of Oregon State. First time these two teams have met when both have been ranked. Victor goes in motion. Ward calls his own number right side. Big gain on first down. Steps out of bounds. Pickup of 11 on first down. Take a look at this offense for Washington State. They're very glad to have Essapole back on the left tackle slot against this talented and tough Oregon State front. And then Lincoln Victor, you alluded to it. We talked to him in pregame. He is a fire plug man. Probably a little bit short on that listed at 5'9", but elusive and deadly. Victor over 100 yards on the ground on the season with a couple of scores. Ward taking his time. Back to pass. Got him. Going deep. Got him. Touchdown Cougars. Kyle Williams. start for this offense. Dream start last week. It was down the sideline. This is right down Broadway. It's basically a clearing route. He's supposed to just clear out the safety with this interior route. Take a look at number two. The number two receiver jersey number. Just a clear, a dig, and a high-low. That's supposed to take that safety gone. Cam Ward, that's a great job of confirming the coverage. So many times as a quarterback, you get off that because you're like, man, he's got to be covered. He's got to be covered. That time, uncovered. Six. Third play for Oregon State. It's a third running back they're using. This is Newell. Swallowed up at the 40-yard line. It'll be third and two. And looking at this Cougars defense man, Ron Stone Jr., Brennan Jackson, those two DNs, they're both highlighted for reason. Elite, elite. Cal Fort do a great job as the leader, the communicator of this defense. And then on the back end, Jaden Hicks, they think he has a chance to be combination of Dale Buchanan and a couple of great, great Washington State Cougar DBs of all time. Martinez gets it, drops oh, no. the football, off schedule and a hit. So Martinez is going to lose yardage. It'll be a loss of six for Martinez as he couldn't handle the pitch. The clock was winding down. Ward goes to the outside. Unbelievable catch. Josh Kelly. You talk about threading the needle. Cam Ward just did it to Kelly. Pick up a 29. That is a big box fade. You got all that room. You can work all the way to the bottom. The numbers, that's great coverage. An unbelievable one-handed catch. You can't defend it better. I mean, Ivy is all over yeah, Kelly. I mean, it's perfect coverage. You got your corner on the exact guy. You want him in that coverage. Great throw, better catch. Matir, eight of nine with a couple of scores on the season. They love his athleticism. And he showed last week he can throw the rock, so you've you got to play this honestly as a defense. It's not just QB run. Batir keeps it up the middle. And he's dropped at the 42-yard line pickup of seven for Batir. Keely Arnold on the stop. The other beautiful part about that is you can time this up. The little jet sweep motion. Secure that ball, Mr. Matir. Put that rock away. Good jump ball. Here comes Warden. Push from behind. Ward is in. Waiting for the official ruling. There it is. Touchdown, Washington State. Got the push from Revere. Cam Ward with his third rushing touchdown of the year. Great leader for the Cougars offense. Ward. Long pass complete. There's Kelly again, another reception. Two for two so far. Longest third down they've tried to convert for Washington State. Ward back to pass to the outside. First down and more for Kelly. Slips out of the tackle. What an effort. Josh Kelly.
44 yards on the strike. Slipped at least three tackles for yes. Oregon State. Just again, a dream start. Cam Ward comes back to the protection. Just a stop route. Watch the vertical push. He lets it go. Comes out of it. Makes the first guy miss. Robinson and then about three more Beavers before finishing off. Gets a little escort from Kyle Williams. Play pass. Uyangalili flushed out. Brought down in the backfield. Brennan Jackson was in his grill. Great pursuit by Brennan Jackson. Coach Dickert told us, hey, man, we got beat on a bunch of boots, a bunch of movement last year. Here's their adjustment. Watch 80, just effort. Come down the line of scrimmage, see the movement from Uyunglele, and delivers a shot, all legal, 100% effort, and a good throwaway again. A throwaway on a play-action movement pass from Uyunglele. It's two for five. Martinez slips one, not another. Another great tackle. Shaw, Smith, Wade drops him for a loss. Shaw, Smith, Wade, man, showing his skills. I can cover anybody. Watch the end come down and blow this thing up on the backside. Blow up Martinez, bounce it back. Shaw, Smith, Wade behind the line of scrimmage, and he's loving it. Uyangalale had it tipped. Catch still made by Fenwick and a stop by Gushikin. Tip was by Brennan Jackson. It's going to be a long day for both these tackles. Watch Gray on Stone at left tackle. Stone retraces, comes back around. Brennan Jackson flushes, or sorry, flushes it to Brennan Jackson. Gets his hands on it. See the tip right there. Great effort by Brennan Jackson. Picked up third and 12 earlier on the drive. Third and 13, we underlay a duck. And it's picked off by the Cougars. Had some pressure in the backfield. And Washington State turns over Oregon State. Ron Stone caused a bad pass. Lockett with his first interception of the season. Stone put the pressure on. Ward to the outside. There's Kelly again. And another man missed, still on his feet past the 30-yard line. Kelly with his sixth catch. Robinson missed that first tackle. That is breaking ankles, multiple ankles right here. Runs through the arm tackle of Robinson and then oop. No chance from McCartan. First down. Ward. He's got his man again. Kyle Williams streaking down the sideline inside the 30. Boy, he has thrown some beautiful balls in the first half. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, just an absolute repeat performance of last week. It was just perfectly in stride for the touchdown. This time, first and goal just outside the red zone. From the 40-yard line for Oregon State, a chance to tie this game. Get to Martinez. Bottled up after a short game. Martinez was 70 yards on the ground before that carry. Martinez trying to get free and a great yeah, tackle. Cam Lampkin one on one and he made the stop. Saw Shaw Smith Wade tackle for a loss earlier. This is going to go down as a, a no gain. As a designer of a play, that's what you want. Your best player against a corner. That time Lampkin steps up. Physical, physical edge finishes from both sides. Shaw Smith said, I saw you. I saw you. He had a ton of room to the outside. Lampkin may have saved the score. Big third down for the Beavers. Knocked down. Nusi Milani got his big paw up there. So big, man. Had a guy in the flat. Would have been tough to get the full distance to convert, but you see Malani 
sees DJU go up and just great awareness, great timing. Bloomfield's doing a nice job in protection. There's nothing he could do there. And Oregon State's going for it. Back home. Uriangalalele brought down. Jaden Hicks. He's been all over the field. Coach Dickert said, hey, we're being aggressive all day long. That's about as aggressive as you get. Looks like a PAT rush. And again, 25, just effort, 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 gets home. The only chance he had was up top to give it a chance to Gould. You see number two throwing his hand up, but that's great coverage. Bolden obviously frustrated he's not getting it. As, as a fourth down veteran quarterback, just get that out of your head. Give your guy a chance. Same look, Ward back to pass. Ward directing traffic. Ward looking end zone touchdown. Josh Kelly is Ward had all day. Great job by Ward. Watch him step up. The old Cam Ward runs out over the top and kind of creates his own pressure. This time he steps up, fires a little sidearm slider to Kelly, and that's cash money, Coach Dickert says. Second touchdown of the game for Kelly. Seven catches for 140. Uyangalale to the outside. Great tackle in space. There's Hicks again. And he's letting Anthony Cool know about it. Yeah, this is why I like this guy so much. 25, coming out of nowhere, top down, 15 yards away, full speed to get the dynamic Anthony Gould, 5'8", 172, and speed to burn. All wide, coverage downfield. Play action, Martinez into the flat, and he overthrew him. Another stop on fourth down for Washington State. More pressure in the backfield. Three for seven on third down for the Beavers. Heat again! Nusi Milani with that initial pressure coming from Jackson from the outside. Milani cleaned it up. Yeah, Thornton untouched. Watch 52. Eating the blocks. No chance. Right here. DJ, that's just so well schemed. That's a different defensive look than they've shown before this year. First punt from Haberer. And he throw it. Revere on the catch. Flag down. Washington State picks up the first down. Nice job officiating. If it's behind the, the one, if it's less than one yard downfield, everybody can be downfield. And, Bring in Dean Blandino. It's a good flag pickup because the pass didn't cross the line of scrimmage. The downfield rules don't apply if the pass doesn't cross the line. And the ball was caught just behind the line of scrimmage. So good communication by the crew to pick up that flag. Tempo for Ward. Outside pass. That's good to Williams. Wrestled out of bounds around the 35. So Ward and Mateer. And to Ward. He's back to pass. They get Mateer on the reception. First down for Washington State. A little razzle-dazzle, a little grin there from Mateer. That, that, this is one of those ones in the quarterback room. They're like, wait, we're going to do what? And then they go, okay, we'll do this. You'll run that way. Ship back come, Mateer in the flat. It's the only guy you can throw to. Even if everybody is elbow open, you, and to the quarterback code, you got to throw to the other QB. Just showing off, like great. There's the stacks again. Gave Wisconsin a ton of problems and a perfectly thrown ball. Easily could have caught that with two hands. Kelly says, "Hey Cam, watch this. A little grab, a little tug from McCoy, but 
you drill that, you hammer that, and that's when <laughs> you want that to come up is when the DB holds that wrist. So good. Fenwick bottled up and dropped behind a line of scrimmage. Naeem Rodman. See 89 spike inside. Wants to go right to left as we're looking at it right there. Great awareness. And just throws Tanner Miller out of the shop. Great play. And not where this Oregon State team gets this pressure in, in general, but tonight a tough, tough time. Watson checks in. Watson gets it. Huge hole up the middle. Nakia Watson. Ball came out late. Coops jump on it. Team leader and tackles coming in. Ward back to pass, flushed out. Ward on the move, getting to the out of bounds marker past the 25 yard line of the 24, 11 yards on the carry. Great discipline right here by Cam Ward. Good ball security eventually. Good eyes, no contact, get out of bounds. This one from 44. up and off the upright and good the doink works for the kooks yeah the single doink did he call it bank off that left upright janikowski has to watch himself in his stance looked like he was leaning forward before the ball was snapped hot glass bank it's good Man coverage outside, a single free safety here for Washington State. Martinez changes fields. And another great open field tackle. Cam Lampkin does it again. One-on-one -on -one in space. Washington State wins again. Normally in this front, you've got six blockers to block seven defenders. That would normally become a pass in that situation. But you know, you get a little to sleep with how good Damian Martinez is, always running out of those tackles. Did it a ton in the first half, not so much. A lot of pressure. We Catch broken up at the last moment. Bolden was there, and Lampkin on back-to-back -back plays, making an impact. Hernandez in motion. Ward sets up. Catch is made. Down the middle, Williams. Inside the 15, inside the 10. Kyle Williams, his seventh catch. From the 48, now first downs. Clock will stop, pressure. Sideline deep and out of bounds. He was trying to get it to Zachary Card. Lampkin on the coverage. Lampkin has been outstanding tonight. Looking back for the ball, a little lean. He's out of, you know, once he steps out of bounds. Use the boundary yep. as another yep. defender. Getting the outside, incomplete. Tried for Gould again, he had space against Smith-Wade. Good throw, good throw. Shaw Smith-Wade, best corner. Pick it if it's Gould or Bolden for Oregon State. But just wasn't able to get that right hand up. That was a good location. You need 10 points. It is fourth and goal from the five. This is for the game. Sappington. Got to travel 10. Ball is loose. It hit a Washington State player. Now Washington State at the bottom it. of the pile, who's got it? Washington State recovers down to the bottom of the scrum. Cooper Mathers. Ward was unbelievable in this game. Just all smiles and should be.
un unbelievable effort. The improvement from that kid. I've seen him here last year. It, it, it is remarkable. The talent they have in the perimeter. But let's go back to the protection against the pressure that Oregon State has applied literally to everybody else. And they answered in a big time, big time win. 33 points allowed in three games, and here come the Cougar faithful. For Washington State, it's their first victory against a top 15 team since October 20th of 2018 when they beat the 12th ranked Ducks. And the floodgates have opened. Jake Dickert and the Coots take down the Beavers.